Hey, what's up everyone? Today we are looking at the Jack Specific, the Simpsons Itchy and Scratchy action figures. So this is the second wave of their smaller two and a half inch line. Uh, I wanted these two specifically just because I thought these were more appropriate uh, for the scale since they are a lot smaller. So the packaging is, it's pretty much just a small box of their five inch figures. They still have the same artwork of like you know Homer and Bart and you know the top has a uh, Marge and Maggie right there it still has you know the figures here to the side right it's pretty much just that just a smaller box um, so that's just how it is for their smaller line and then the back is also the same it just shows an image of the figures and then all the other figures here in this wave so this uh, wave has a crusty Bart with a slingshot and then a uh, sideshow Bob I'm getting closer a little bit but yeah these are everyone else in this uh wave right here okay so here is itchy and scratchy out of their packaging i got both of them standing next to each other with their accessories in their hand so itchy has the club right here and then uh scratchy has a mallet uh i do think the mallet should have been a lot bigger though uh not saying mallets aren't usually in this size it's just that in cartoons such as well you know itchy and scratchy or tom and jerry or looney tunes you know they like to oversize the mallets um but this one's a bit too small and i think playmates they made their mallets pretty big for their figures so they definitely uh capture that well uh for their figures but uh for the jacks one the mallet seems a bit too small honestly um i think even in the intro when they're like whacking each other they make the uh, mallet a lot bigger but that's just how they are in like little cartoons like this um, but the club is okay I will say this uh, these figures they have a pretty hard time standing that's just because the way how their their legs are and their feet isn't completely flat on the ground so the accessories is going to help them stand better because it's like you know making them not like fall forward or back really so I will say that and they have a hard time trying to stand when I put the uh, accessory up see if I put uh, the club up for uh, you know itchy right here now he uh, he's gonna tumble so I have to put it like that to hold it, to have him stand I think it's actually fine for scratchy but the handle right here it's a soft plastic um, so maybe that's just what it is but the you know the part right here this is like a hard plastic though so it's it's fine for scratchy uh so pretty standard though you can see we got the red vest right the red vest that's on to a itchy right here the head scope doesn't seem too bad i like the head scope you can see like the teeth for uh scratchy and then you got the tail and then uh for or did i did i say scratchy itchy sorry uh and then for scratchy i like the head scope i think you know they definitely capture well how they look on the show the white gloves there pretty standard right pretty pretty standard and then for the articulation it's similar to their other uh two and a half inch simpsons figures really so uh for uh itchy right here we have a rotation to the head of course your arms can move back and forth you have a hinge to the shoulder only goes high about there you can rotate the arm the legs are the same where uh that joint is moving both legs kind of like that Playmobil or Super 7 reaction style. Um, Ishi doesn't get a lot of range as much as I would like him to. There's not a lot of range you can get there. And then the tail uh, rotates. So there's a rotation to the tail. Now for Scratchy, it's the same way. Rotation to the head along with the arms. There's a hinge at the shoulder, but there's better range with this compared to Itchy. Rotation is there. Same thing with the legs. However, uh, Scratchy can sit down a little bit better than the uh, itchy figure but still not as much as i would like really and then there's a rotation to the tail and that's the articulation right there you're not going to be able to get him in the best sort of crawling position as you would for like the snowball figure this is probably the best you'll get really but i guess it's not the biggest deal since uh scratchy is usually just standing up uh, on his own Another thing I do want to throw in here is you can uh, have the tail support the scratchy figure if you want it to stand. And the arms go up high if you put them this way. Uh, you know, when I did the hinge, it doesn't go any higher than that. But if you rotate them and put them up this way, it does go a lot higher. 
So here's a comparison right here. So we got the Jack specific ones here and then we got the Playmates one over here. And all four are still great. They still, you know, capture the head scopes fine here. Like for Scratchy, you can still see like the tongue and the teeth. And uh, for Itchy, it's like the, you know, like the teeth like to the front of the mouth. Even though you can barely see them a little bit here on the Jacks ones. But they are there and the mallet thing is what I was trying to talk about. See how like massive the mallet is for... Uh, the playmates one compared to uh, the jacks one and um this itchy figure comes with the club while this one came with an axe so that's pretty much that i still do like the playmates one though i don't know what it is there's something about them that i still really like i never really had any issues with these except that they were on these platforms that was molded onto the figure so it makes them a little bit taller but I still really did like these figures. Uh, the kid robot, like bigger figures are still my favorite. Itchy and scratchy figures, but those are just way too big really. But I still really did like the Playmates one. Uh, but the Jax ones aren't a bad choice, you know, especially since these are only like five bucks. So they're not really a bad choice at all. Uh, but just keep in mind that um, I think this might be an issue for some people, but I believe Itchy's just a little too big compared to scratchy i think itchy's just supposed to be a lot smaller maybe like this size maybe i would assume since he's a small mouse but um itchy doesn't really look that great next to the scratchy figure he's a bit too big in my opinion i don't think he's really supposed to be like that tall uh next to a uh, scratchy right there i can switch out the accessories if you want to see if they're going to work so let me just kind of remove these off of these figures put them back here so i have them get rid of these and we'll just see if this is going to work so here's the mallet that came with the playmates one we'll see if that's going to work but they can like hold on to the weapons um and they they actually look uh really good though with these weapons so that's nice right there Here's another comparison. So this time I got them with some more other five inch figures. So we got a, you know, a mixed lot of like some jacks and uh, some playmates here. But just to give you an idea of where these uh, would scale with the other characters, if you want to see how that is. And if you don't want to use this itchy figure, uh, you know, I'll still throw in the playmates one if you want to see that. Um, just wish he wasn't on the uh, platform right there. But uh, yeah, if you want to see how that is next to the Jack's uh, scratchy figure, or just see how they are in general. Here's one last comparison. So I wanted to throw them in with some Super 7 Ultimates. So, you know, we got the Krusty and then the uh, Bartman figure right here. And I think you can still fudge these in. I think they're okay. The scale is not, like, that perfect, really, you know. I, I think, like, characters like Bartman and Poochie that they did uh, were still a little bit too big, but... Uh, you know, the itchy and scratchy figure, I think you can still uh, throw these in if you wanted to do that. Alright, so that is going to do it here for the Jack Specific, the Simpsons Itchy and Scratchy action figures. So, if you want to pick these up, they are currently available at Target. But let me know, what are your thoughts on these in the comments down below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. But until then, take care my friends.